Well, hello friends and soul family. Beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra energy reading, and today is Monday. August 28th of 2023. So, happy Monday to all of you out there. I hope that you are all doing so very well. Yeah, so all of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear the message. So, if your guides have led you here, your spirit, your ancestors, your higher self, the divine, or even if someone has shared this video with you and you decided to watch it, then there is a message here for you. So, use your intuition to tune into what that message could be for you. So, yeah. So today, I want to say happy birthday to all of you Virgos out there that are celebrating your birthday today over the weekend or last week, whenever. I hope that your day is so magical and wonderful and amazing. So yeah. So yeah, today is my sister's birthday, so happy birthday to her as well. So yeah. So yeah, Virgo energy, like the earth energy earth and uh, you know earth is the energy that kind of like slows everything down after being in the fire season of Leo so you know like everybody seems to slow down a little bit and start to be I feel like things start to become more mindful and uh, yeah I like it. So, oh, there we go. Okay. We had two cards flip for us today. So, today we have an empty card from the auric field of the spiritual body. So, the auric field of the spiritual body, that is the out, the outermost part of our um, of our aura, and, uh, yeah, so, it, since it happened automatically, the affirmation that we are needing with our org field is, oops, um, is from the secondary chakra's elbows, and it's card number 100, I reject with love and consistency. I reject with love and consistency. So I feel that this energy is more of, yeah, like when we reject things that are not good for us, we're doing it from a place of love for ourselves. I don't know if we've gotten this card before, number 100. So. I'm excited to see what the book has to say about it. So let's get into the meaning. So, number 100. We're getting there. Okay. Number 100. I reject with love and consistency. So let me move this over the pose a little bit more. Okay. Let me move this over as well. Okay. Meaning, when something comes to you and you truly do not need it, reject it lovingly but with consistency. Otherwise, you would only be carrying unnecessary ballast with you and would have less room for what you truly need. Through the ability to reject, 
you are developing more and more consciousness about what differentiates you from the rest of the world. The consciousness of the self, self-awareness, is greatly dependent upon the ability to reject what you do not want. Detoxification, removal of waste substances, and elimination are only possible in the first place on the basis of rejection. So, yeah. Healing stone is rose quartz, antimonite, and rhyolite. The fragrance essence is sage one, two, and three, and the box flower is chestnut bud and vervain together. So, yeah. So basically, we are being guided to reject things lovingly. And what is very interesting is this, that it says detoxification, removal of waste substances, substances, and elimination are only possible in the first place on the basis of rejection. So, yeah, it's a removing things from our body that are no longer needed. Like, literally, our elimination is removing waste from our body that we no longer need. And it's interesting that I never really thought of that as a rejection, but now it does give me a whole new, uh, like, yeah, like I see a whole new different perspective on that as well. And so it is, it definitely is a rejection. <laughs> so um, I'm interested in what it says because these fragrance essences I would like to see what it says about sage so sage has harmonizing effect on the activity of the sweat glands for energetic cleansing for energetic cleansing of a person's aura objects and rooms against inflammations in the mouth and throat improves the healing of wounds against acne and enlarged pores, produces euphoric reactions, general tonic, good for regulating low blood, low blood pressure. So, yeah. So I suppose sage is good in the aspect of, you know, it helps us to like for with energetic cleansing and stuff, it helps us to lovingly reject any energies that we no longer need within our aura. It helps us to reject the inflammation in mouth and throat. I did not know that. That's amazing. And like improves the healing of wounds. I also didn't know that. So yeah, I feel that there's just been so much <laughs> Just like with learning that, that was in itself its own expansion. And so I feel that we are being guided to be more mindful of what is a rejection and to do it with love and to do it with consistency um, so that we're not carrying around any of the residual energy of that what we reject. And I know like before I had started the, um, before I started the reading, I was just having these feelings, and I was like, no, like, like, just, you know, just thinking, like, my mind was just going, and I had to stop myself and say, like, no, those aren't the thoughts that I want to have right now, I have to let those go, and let in more, like, positive thinking, so, it could be something just as simple as that, as rejecting any of the thoughts and actions that are not going to serve your highest good. So, yeah, let any unwanted and unwelcome thoughts go as well. So, yeah, so that is the message for this marvelous Monday. I hope you all found something that you resonate with. And if you did, then please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel 
And yeah, and with that, I will see you all in the next one. I hope you have a great day.